Good morning, students. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss new antenna parameters. Directivity and gain. So directivity in previous radiation intensity is the radiation intensity radiated power by antenna per one unit solid angle. Similar way, here also the directivity is very important parameter for our problem solving as well as designing of antenna patterns etc so as per the definition uh, you are all watching the slide so directivity of antenna directivity of antenna equal to so ratio of maximum power density p of theta comma phi p of theta comma phi and to its uh, average value so generally this uh, directivity and gain are popular radiation popular uh, calibrated uh, parameters so this popular calibrated parameters are used to concatenate your far field patterns also why because uh, in our antenna in our upcoming uh, slides we have far field near field so this type of directivity and gains are very important to estimate the futures to estimate the performance of any antenna for example uh, half wave dipole or uh, any helical antenna so this directivity is very popular uh, parameter simple the directivity is a dimensionless quantity it is always be equal to one or greater than one generally the directivity can be nomenclature ratio of power density p of theta comma phi maximum value to its average p of theta comma phi as shown in the uh, formula so d equal to p of theta comma phi maximum divided by p of theta comma phi average suppose uh, let we want to explain let we want to uh, enlarge this uh, equation so the denominator you have p of theta comma phi average so as we know that uh, the parameters are applicable throughout the antenna sphere so throughout that antenna sphere 1 by 4 pi is throughout the antenna sphere so 1 by 4 pi double integration 0 2 pi and 0 to 2 pi what is the 0 to pi which is the theta elevation plane whereas phi is azimuthal plane so azimuthal plane always calculated throughout uh, uh, 2 pi radian similarly our elevation plane which is uh, um, theta plane which is equal to theta 0 to pi so inside what function we have to take in here very important so in some problem calculations also you have to notice the important of uh, uh, this value so here uh, 1 by 4 pi what is 1 by 4 pi is uh, 1 by 4 pi is called it as throughout the radial sphere throughout our uh, in previous lecture we calculated steradians 4 pi steradians that 4 pi steradians per average 1 by 4 pi here uh, you are having uh, here you are having uh, 1 by 4 pi so therefore uh, integration 0 to 5 mm, integration 0 to pi or 0 to 2 pi whatever 1 by 4 pi integration 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi inside you take this uh, uh, function that is the power density function p of theta comma phi multiplied along the uh, theta quadrants that is sine theta d theta as well as uh, d phi so that sine theta d theta is always uh, so sine theta d theta is very important uh, function here sine theta d theta d theta d phi 
So one by four pi. Here we are having uh, double integration throughout four pi. So in that. So you are taking throughout the average value p of theta comma phi. So that is one by four pi double integration. The function p of theta, as you know that the sine d theta d theta d phi it already beam solid angle d omega. So likewise p of theta comma phi average function obtained by equation number two here. So everyone note down this equation p of theta comma phi average. No, so from this knowledge, you have to adapt the directivity. So directivity equal to p of theta comma phi, a maximum value. So that is your numerator, p of theta comma phi maximum divided by take this function from equation number two, one by four by double integration p of theta comma phi d omega. So from this knowledge, what you have to take in here, one by four by same. So this double integration is same. Bring this numerator into down. P of theta comma phi divided by P of theta comma phi maximum along with the uh, uh, beam solid angle. So this beam solid angle now expressed uh, in terms of uh, directivity. So that equal to your d equal to one divided by uh, this one by four pi. So four pi comes into numerator. 4 pi divided by beam solid angle. So very important empirical relationship while you are calculating upcoming problem. So I think all students which are watching this slide, which are able to understand the shortcut formula directivity, very popular objective question. Directivity equal to 4 pi divided by beam area or beam solid angle. So now this uh, now this beam solid angle is now become very important uh, empirical formula as we know that now you are understanding the normalized function so in this previous uh, where pn of theta comma phi pn of theta comma phi equal to p of theta comma phi divided by p max this is the normalized power that is the normalized power power density is very important in our uh, empirical relationship uh -huh. Pn of theta gamma phi d omega equal to P of theta gamma divided by P of theta. This is the normalized power pattern. So this normalized power pattern is also be a important uh, empirical relation to calculate the directivity. Why? Because this directivity is the ratio that is the ratio of over the sphere of four pi star radians to that uh, beam area of uh, beam solid angle. This is the beam solid angle of the similarity antenna. The small uh, beam area with bet better the directivity. Generally, uh, generally for our antenna designing system. So what we have to consider equal to, uh, you have to take uh, very high directive antenna for our antenna designing. So for such type of uh, high directivity antenna designing, you are able to familiar the bigger directivity. So note down students. So all are very, uh, here we have obtained one key point. If for larger directivity antenna, we have small beam area. Suppose if for example, if you have in our laboratory, we have half wave dipole. 
so for uh, half of uh, the area or throughout the sphere so that a beam area is equal to 2 pi square radians so directivity equal to from this example how to calculate directivity 4 pi by beam area so 4 pi divided by for this example 2 pi so 2 equal to corresponding directivity of particular antenna which is simply call it as a decibel so dbi is the decibels or isotropic so for a larger so for larger directivity so directivity equal to 4 pi directivity equal to 4 pi divided by 2 pi which is equal to 2 pi 2 directivity equal to 2 already we explained directivity is dimensionless quantity so directivity equal to 2 approximately uh, decibels for one isotropic uh, tell me ko directivity equal to 2 for uh, decibels uh, over isotropic uh, so decibels uh, dbi equal to decibels over isotropic note the note down so this isotropic antenna has the lowest uh, probability so directivity equal to d equal to 1 this all actual antennas directivity which is greater than 1 so so generally this isotropic uh, directivity is uh, similar to uh, lowest possibility value so decibels over isotropic equal to idealized antenna that is 4 pi square radian so directivity equal to 1 for such type of uh, of uh, dipole <coughs> generally this directivity may be explained in any uh, any another ways uh, like in our previous examples so this is simple schematic that you can understand in very good manner <laughs> so this is the half uh, hemisphere this is the hemisphere so this is the power patterns for a single hemisphere this is the isotropic uh, power pattern which is having the circle uh, hemisphere so from this one we have uh, for familiar knowledge on directivity now we are able to link up this directivity to gain generally the gain uh, we have some uh, gain of particular antenna so the gain of particular antenna actually or realized quantity which is automatically less than uh, directivity so directivity due to ohmic classes uh, which are observed in the antenna particularly in the random or which are be closed surface so transmitting those losses involving in the power feeding to particular antenna which is not uh, radiated by uh, heat sir particular structure
so directivity sometimes uh, due to the uh, empirical relationship uh, so the gain of an antenna is actually the due to the losses uh, we are uh, so due to the gain uh, we are having uh, your radial patterns uh, which are we uh, explained in previous figure So due to the Tuomi classes of an antenna in transmitting uh, these structures uh, very important in uh, constructing that uh, uh, huge area. So the losses, uh, the losses were observing, the losses were observing uh, which are similar to that of uh, uh, involving in the particular feeding or uh, whatever. Maybe. So involvement of this power feeding to an antenna which is not uh, radiated, so mismatching in feeding. Mm. A mismatching uh, can reduce the particular gain. So the ratio of the gain to directivity, that is the antenna gain factor or antenna efficiency factor. So that gain equal to uh, efficiency factor. So where small k is the efficiency factor. So where small k is the efficiency factor, small k is the efficiency factor where the efficiency factor always lies between 0 to 1 and it is dimensionless. So in many well-designed antennas, the small k may be close to unity. In practice, uh, g is always less than d, where d is the maximum or ideal value. So half power beam width, you know, the directivity equal to this half power beam width. So half power beam width uh, directivity. So D equal to um, 4, 1, 2, 5, 3 divided by uh, theta equal to half power plane, theta half power plane and 5 half power plane. So where you got uh, 4, 1, 2, 5, 3, can anyone say? This 4, 1, 2, 5, 3 is the number of uh, square degrees, number of theridian degrees. So directivity sometimes that equal to four one two five three divided by theta half plane and phi half plane. So four one two five three number of square degrees that equal to your critical degrees and the theta half plane and phi half plane is the half power beam width in particular one plane or another plane. So from this example directivity from this example so directivity equal to forty thousand. Uh, divided by theta half plane and uh, phi half plane. So from this slide, what is your conclusion from this slide equal to directivity 
empirical relationships are identified by your strength of your particular thing that is the directivity equal to 40000 divided by theta half plane and phi half plane so this is another uh, implementation this is another uh, alternating uh, iteration treatment on uh, directivity here so in previous uh, example directivity equal to 41253 divided by theta half plane and phi half plane to make uh, easy formula that directivity may also be brings down 40000 divided by suppose for example theta equal to 20 and phi equal to uh, this one so 20 into 20 that equal to 400 so 40000 divided by 400 100 if you convert it in your calculator so you have to obtain uh, 20 db so which means that antenna radiates 100 times the power in the particular direction of the main beam so which is in the non directional for the isotropical antenna so that the directivity indicates uh, power the concentration of the power towards the particular uh, uh, radiation or so directivity 100 times which is the power in the radiation of the main particular beam so that a non directional radiation patterns are obtained as usual way that isotropic uh, antenna if the antenna has main beam with the both uh, a half uh, uh, power beam with that equal to your 20 and correct so directivity may be implemented that to four pi steradians uh, uh, divided by a uh, beam solid angle so that equal to 41253 41253 divided by theta half plane and uh, phi half plane so 41253 divided by theta half plane and phi half plane so 41253 divided by 20 into 20 400 so which means that uh, the antenna radiates a power in the direction of the main beam uh, approximately 100 times which is greater than a non directional isotropic radiating antenna or same power input you have to estimate the particular antenna so this antenna may yields what is the particular knowledge on this criteria equal to if you want to deliver the four pi steradians beam solid angle that beam solid angle may perhaps to increase your directivity in the particular radiation so this particular radial direct directivity may helps to bring out uh, your uh, valuable uh, uh, main beam radiation in the particular direction which is very important uh, uh, criteria so all, i think all of you watching this slide this slide indicates that uh, Uh, directivity and its corresponding uh, resolution so this uh, directivity as well as uh, the particular uh, resolution uh, resolution is nothing but generally the focusing beam bit it is your uh, how much uh, angle of tilting the particular antenna will be able to resonate uh, to its particular antenna generally the resolu resolution of particular antenna may be defined 50% of its uh, uh, functional beam width that is equal to uh, um, half of the beam width between functionals so that is equal to f and b w by 2 so for example antenna whose pattern suppose for example uh, functional beam width equal to 2 degree it has a resolution of 1 degree so it should be able to distinguish between transmitter where to uh, adjacent satellites in the corresponding same orbit which are be separated by 1 degree so when the particular antenna beam uh, maximum is aligned with the particular antenna 
so first to the null coincides the adjacent uh, satellites or it may be uh, corresponding uh, um, satellites in the particular beam area so that half power beam width between these two nulls which is equal to your half power uh, beam width yeah, so the first null beam width the, the ratio that is the 50 percent of fnbw by 2 fnbw by 2 equal to <laughs> So that uh, <laughs> So the uh, it is the product that equal to FNBW by two in the two proportional principal planes in the antenna patterns is a measurement of the particular antenna of beam area so ohm a that equal to your uh, the beam solid angle equal to product of these two individual values in the particular theta plane and a phi so fnbw by 2 multiplied by fnbw to theta and phi so which is uh, in the following number so the radio transmitters are provided in the particular uh, which is the so so that n equal to 4 pi divided by ohmia that is the sigma a or beam solid angle so directivity equal to 4 pi by sigma a So directivity equal to 4 pi by sigma a. So that 4 pi by sigma a, which are indicating to respect to 4 pi by sigma a. which is very popular uh, empirical relationship so in the previous slide we are able to catch this type of uh, in in the respective well. So next, uh, you are familiar about on this one. <laughs> so antenna apertures are simply called uh, antenna apertures. Uh, the concept of aperture is very important. Generally, the aperture team, the aperture meaning equal to where you are able to identify where you are able to identify the uh, uh, mouth area. Generally, this antenna apertures uh, we are talking, 
So in our antenna knowledge, generally the antennas uh, with respect to uh, geographical, uh, geometrical transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna. So this concept of apertures uh, mostly introduced by considering the receiving antenna, considering receiving antenna. Suppose, for example, look at uh, okay. So if you are considering this antenna apertures, uh, So the concept of uh, so doing that uh, concept of this uh, uh, antenna apertures. So, to maintaining the So those who uh, we are having, suppose if this antenna has a receiving antenna, so from the receiving antenna, there may be a rectangular mouth. This is some simple, uh, I think everybody watching this slide, this is simple uh, horn type antenna. They were uh, feed or waveguide. So output of feed uh, connected to your rectangular mouth. So this uh, electromagnetical horn embraced in the field of a particular antenna. So that is uniform plane wave. So let the pointing uh, uh, the pointing vector or power density of the particular plane wave that equal to per square meter and that area uh, of aperture. Uh, it may be a uh, simple uh, schematic. If this horn extracts the power from that wave, so there is a physical aperture, and then the total power absorbed in that particular uh, wave, that equal to P equal to, you are having some uh, empirical relation, that equal to P equal to E square uh, by Z uh, into AP. So this let the pointing vector the power density of the plane uh, 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 aperture of the horn, it may be a P or it may be some square aperture of, of physical knowledge. So this is the physical aperture or square aperture. If suppose if the particular horn, if the particular horn extracts all the power 
from the wave uh, where the entire uh, physical if this horn extracts the power from the uh, wave overall it's a physical aperture so then uh, total uh, physical equal to your uh, uh, physical aperture equal to your incident field that equal to normalized field that equal to your physical aperture multiplied by your e square divided by z. this e square divided by z equal to called that uh, power uh, uh, density that equal to s so s into ap so this uh, power equal to watts this this is the way how this uh, physical aperture can be explained so many uh, criteria so whatever it may be so this is the way so this is your uh, regular uh, uh, scheme where your uh, physical apertures are be, uh, very important uh, for our uh, criteria so does that electromagnetic horn may be regarding um, this electromagnetic horn may be regarding with the aperture so that the total power which is extracted from that passing that important in uh, miracle relation so it extracts from that uh, passing uh, the new proportionality so the proportional apertures are very important for our uh, mouth area so this mouth area will be able to uh, calculated um, so the uh, so therefore electromagnetic horn uh, the electromagnetic horn are also very important uh, to regarding of the apertures total power is extracted from the passing have being proportionality so that uh, throughout the area of the mouth if if suppose but if the field responsible of that horn and of okay. so does the total power that the total power uh, which are be able to intend here so let's stop the uh, continuation of this uh, antenna purchase we will watch in the next presentation